creating animated diagrams for LinkedIn. Hello guys and welcome to this new tutorial. Today I'm going to show you how you can create a diagram or an animated diagram within Canva to your LinkedIn profile. It is very easy and very simple. All you have to do is to follow up the tutorial from the beginning till the end and you will be good to go. The first thing that you need to do is to go to LinkedIn then you are going to sign in for your account. As you can see, we have already signed in in our account and here we have everything set. Now, the next step is to go to canva.com. Then we are going to create a presentation within this uh, Canva platform. Go ahead and sign in into your account again, right there in Canva. Then we are going to see some presentations template. Either you can go with the presentation right there, which is mentioned in the landing page, which is a blank presentation. You can start from scratch or you can go ahead and see some Canva templates. Simply go ahead to the search bar and type in presentation, presentation like that and click on enter and you will see the results. From there, you are going to see the templates that are related to the presentations and also the diagrams and etc. Go ahead and select whatever template that you want or you like, then we can go ahead and customize it. If you don't see the perfect template for you and your idea, simply click on show more and you will see the rest of the templates. I'm going to choose a template and we can go ahead and work with it. For example, let's go ahead and see this one. This template is animated. Also, this is a diagram which is animated also. Let's go ahead and compare these and I'm going to choose one of these. Let's go ahead and click on this one and click on customize. We are going to see right there the whole template with the pages. These templates are animated and here we have a company diagram. Now you can go ahead and adjust and also customize these templates. If you want to see the animation on this one or in this diagram, click on duration and from there you are going to play it. Go ahead and click on the play button and you will see everything is set. If you want to set everything from there, go ahead and modify this one. You can go ahead and change the picture for example, or we can go ahead and start from scratch. Let's go ahead and start our diagram. There, I'm going to put some elements and from these elements, let's go ahead and add some shapes. This is the first shape that I am going to add. Go ahead and add the color to it. Let's go ahead and choose this one maybe or that one. And I'm going to simply to duplicate it multiple times. Go ahead and make them, uh, try to make them uh, as your, you want them to be. It is uh, to your taste to make these. And here we have them. I'm going to put some arrows. Let's go ahead and group all of these three. So we are going to get, make them or make an animation for them. I'm going to put them like that. And here we have the first animation. And let's go ahead and add some lines. These are some lines. I'm going to make it to rotate uh, to 80 or 90 degree. Make it like this. This is small enough. And go ahead, duplicate it, put it for this one. And for the last one, it will be automatically. Go ahead and adjust it to the middle, right there. And also this one. Go ahead and adjust it also to the middle and here we have it. Let's go ahead and group them together also and make an animation for them. Click on the baseline and there we are going to see some animations. Let's say that we are going to add these animations maybe like that or like this. Now let's go ahead and add another thing. From there we have the elements. Let's go ahead and add some text first. Go ahead and add a heading. Make it a little bit smaller and we are going to write something. Let's say that we are going to set here team and put it right there. 
this is the team I'm going to duplicate this one and add for example in place of team executors 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 and like that and finally we are going to add something like let's see their staff put some staff and here we have everything set with the um, words I'm going also to group those and make some effects or some uh, animations let's go ahead and put some of these like that maybe we have multiple multiple choice like that maybe drift or neon or like this also this is awesome now let's go ahead and add some more elements let's go and add some graphics who have the suggestion of graphics go ahead and choose one of these graphics and we are going to set them like that maybe this one I think it is suitable for this one so we are going to add some text I'm going to put here persona persona one go ahead right there put it that this small put it right here make it fit and we're going to duplicate it make the position of it right there and here we have to duplicate it until we finish this for that go ahead and make it a little bit smaller like that or like this go ahead and make that like this go ahead and group those like that make them a little bit smaller and adjust them together like that maybe I'm going to make this and grouped and here we have it let's go and add some animation to this one so we are going to click on baseline again and we have this one it's an animation and for the executors let's go ahead and add some graphics also here we have maybe this one like that or these people make them like this make them to the middle add a text maybe like this I'm going to put something like job done like this and here we have it go ahead and animate those together click on baseline and from there we are going to set something like this one this is the wipe everything is animated right there I'm going to adjust that and finally for the staff let's go ahead and add some elements from there let's go ahead and put here loading like this one go ahead and put this and add some titles maybe like this I'm going to add loading work loading work make something like that and I'm going to add an arrow let's go ahead to the elements arrow here we have some arrows go ahead and add this arrow or let's go with this one maybe that one is better rotate it to 90 degrees make it a little bit smaller and thinner adjust it like that make it a little bit smaller this is an ugly arrow so simply I'm going to delete that and add a normal arrow go ahead and add this one 90 degrees let it like that here we have it make it smaller go ahead and make it right there animate it click on baseline again choose an animation for example maybe like that don't need those and here we have our presentation let's go ahead and put something like let's say the performance like that I'm going to put here a title or let it only like this put an animation also for this one and here we have everything is animated 
Now, simply go ahead and click on share. When you finish everything, click on download. And from there, we are only going to download the first one. Go ahead and select the page that you want to go and download. Click on done. And for the format, I highly recommend you to set it as a GIF. Go ahead and click on download. Wait a few seconds and then the download will be started soon. Here we can see the progress bar right there. And simply we are going to click on media right there from LinkedIn. And here we are going to set this GIF image. Go ahead and click on open and we have the presentation. It is a animated presentation or the animated diagram. You can see it, it is set right there. Click on next. And you can see there you can add some comments or some post information and click on post. I will wait for a few seconds and see the result of this uh, work that I have made with the animated diagram. Simply it is posted and here we have it. I'm going to see my posts. Previous activity. Let, let me see my post please. And here we have it. This is the post as you can see it is a GIF. And it is animated also. That was all for today's video. Thank you guys for watching. I hope that you have enjoyed the content and hope to see you soon on the next one.